Hello, this is G Bailey, and welcome back to the PS1 version of Let's Play Crap City, a musical adventure. Since last time, I've got made it up to Beauty Castle in this point in the plot, and let's see. So as far as my setup goes, I just want Cornette to be faster than everyone else so she can use horn on them. Then we got Genius Caps on El Coon, and... Yeah, Dragon's Claws all the way around the other two. Because they have the movement range to be able to take advantage of that. Now, I've already cleared out most of the treasure in Beauty Castle already. But there's one that's unique in the PS1 version of the game. And then we'll just go to the end of the place. The final illustration! 14 out of 15 for some reason. I don't know why they give them out of order like that, but okay. Oh, I thought I already saw this one. Oh, okay, I, I guess not. Maybe I was just thinking when I was practicing earlier today. I like how Karuru was hanging off the balcony to keep an eye on the two of them during that whole scene. Although, I think Carnet was wearing different clothes that cutscene, but okay, whatever works. So now let's just head on to the end, and I'm hoping that I'll run into some interesting enemies around here. Well, not, I don't know if they're interesting, but they are unique to the PS1 version, at least as far as I know. And let's see, I, I also, once I got the dark key from the netherworld, I spent the money that I got from selling the Dark Key on a whole bunch of Dragon's Claws, so I have even more than what I have quit at this point. But I did want to get the Genius Caps for El Coon, but I'm not going to be using them once we get to the end of this place. Uh, it's nice having a lower encounter rate here. Okay, so, got to the end here. Let's see, so with El Coon, let's get him on full Dragon's Claws there. Although I will be using some of his MP, but not a whole lot. Let's see. I'm just gonna restore what MP I got anyway, just because it's relatively cheap to do so. And, let's see, it would be a really, really good idea to save, because unlike every other boss fight in the game, this, the final battles can be remotely challenging! It's a concept! You might also want to get up to like level 30 for Kid and Shart, because Shart would learn Mega Heal All. I'm not gonna have that this time around. And Kid, well, he would learn an ability called Final Attack, and that would let him attack an enemy from range. But uh, in this case, no, we don't got that. So we'll just stick with what we got. Okay, how's it going? Why are you so surprised that I actually made it here? And why are all your minions here? Didn't you just send them out the room to stop me from getting this far? But, whatever works for you. <laughs> I like how they have, like, a little different art between the two versions of the game. For boss time against the Marjorie family. Okay, I think we'll be pretty good from here. Because, what is it? If Marjorie starts out with, what was that? Uh, with Omega Meteor, she will kill you, especially Shark, because she's holy elemental, and Omega Meteor would wipe her out easily. But uh, let's see, I want to go with a little cake there. Ow. Yeah, imagine if I didn't have the defense robes on her. Holy cow! Okay, so now, Gigastorm, and let's see. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, one more spell will finish off Gal, and then we'll be in good shape. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Giga Holy. 
Yeah, unfortunately, the Omega Tier spells in this version of the game require even more levels than we already have. It's ridiculous. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to move her there. You know what, let's just, uh, stand pat here. Because I'm not sure where Marjorie will be moving. Oh, well, right where I would want her to move. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. I think I'll have Shart use Heal All this round. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Now, the reason why I wanted to use Cake instead of, like, Pancake or even a cheaper one is because I can use one. Well, like you see, I can use one right away, and then when I use Horn a couple more times, I'll be able to use it again later on in the battles after this. So that's pretty nice. Now, since I don't have final attack with... Well, okay, that was the final attack, but... If I had the final attack ability, that would have been useful for a kid to use early on. But as it is, well, things work out a little better than I even thought it would. What do you mean, little one? Don't answer that, viewers. Well, she was just saying to behold her power, not her true power. Eh, too bad Galanzo doesn't get a portrait in this version of the game. Why would you even care to stop us from fighting each other? Wouldn't it be more advantageous to let us, you know, beat each other up? And then bring out your mech? But whatever works for you. Maybe he thinks he's invincible with the ancient weapon there. I don't know. Or maybe he wants to destroy the world or something. I don't know. But, yeah, the ancient weapon, I don't even know if it can move. I, I guess it could, but it doesn't do a whole lot otherwise. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, unlike the DS version of the game, once a sufficient number of turns has been uh, used up, then the battle just automatically ends. You don't have to wait for... Uh, what is it? You don't have to wait for... One of them to kill the other. Well, I don't know that you win. You just kind of win by default, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Same thing in the DS version. Definitely want to heal up here. Uh, aren't you? I can't even interact with you. Maybe... No, I guess I can. Hmm. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Well, that thing doesn't exactly look alright, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, let me see. Oh, well, yeah, I think we all gained levels after that last battle there. So, we're all ready yet. Oh, well, I used the statue, too, but... Whatever. We're all good to go. Oh, why is it getting dark all of a sudden? Well, I don't think you're capable of that, but whatever works for you. For boss time! Against the ancient weapon. Okay, let's see. For this one, I don't think I need to use cake to bring the little minions down to size. Let's see, if I go like that, they should all... Hmm. Yeah, they're all barely in range. And, yeah, the three minions are nothing extraordinary to worry about. Just stay out of range of the other two, and then we'll be fine. Now, if you wanted to in this fight, you could just have everyone stay out of range of the weapon, and it wouldn't really be able to do a whole lot. I think it can use, like, Gigastorm or something. 
or one of the storm spells, and you could just, you know, attack it from range the whole time. Let's see, why don't we get a little closer, and let's see. Yeah, we'll go with Mega Light. Yeah, even without the Genius Caps, you can still deal pretty good damage to the weapon there. Hmm, am I... No, I'm, I can't get any range there. Okay, let's see. So then, yeah, we'll just go with Mega Saiyans. Kid isn't going to be able to get in range either, but we'll be fine. And if you take, like, quite a bit of damage, you could use, like, Elixir Candies or Elixir Balls. I bought a little bit of those, but uh, nothing too extraordinary there. Since even though I don't have... Mega heal all will be fine. Worry not. Oh wow, I'm surprised it didn't even bother using Gigastorm. Yeah, a lot of enemies in the PS1 version, even if they have spells, they don't really use them that often. Like you saw with Marjorie there, she just tried to whack me upside the head a couple times. But at least I'm doing well at the end of that battle there. So, yeah, I prefer just going in with, well, not Reckless Abandon, but I prefer to use the physical attacks, even if it does expose my party to even more damage, because once you're in range, then you can pretty much finish the battle in one go like that. Especially if you have a whole bunch of Dragon's Claws. But, uh, yeah, the magic boosting gear? Mm, not so good in this version of the game. That's one reason why I really like the DS version of the game. Is like, all the accessories can be useful in the right situations. Like, final boss time in the DS version. I like that fade-in effect they do with this one. Just, it looks a little more mystical than the DS version there, but... Okay, so let's see. We got cake. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to move a little differently, but I think we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, I need a little more help with the damage on the minions there. And yeah, Twall even joins the fun this time around. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Okay, so... Let's see if I go there. I think we'll be good. Oh yeah, another thing I could have done to potentially deal with Marjorie's uh, Omega Meteor spell is you might have noticed that... Oh, we already killed the guys. Huh. Okay, I, I didn't think I would be able to, but, uh, okay. I guess I got a little lucky here. But, uh, yeah, let's heal off there. But, uh, if I didn't kill them, I would have had Shart use, uh, Giga Holy, but, uh, that's okay. So yeah, this weapon can move around. Did it just like hover around? Not even like taking steps to... Uh, what does it move around there? I don't think I've ever noticed that before, but uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Why a 12 keeps on moving in melee range of the weapon, I don't know. And I meant to have him use Mega Lightning, but uh, I accidentally hit the auto battle button. Oh well, could have been worse. Hmm. I'm gonna play it a little conservatively here. I don't have to. But you never know. I want to keep everyone above 200 HP if I can. Because, uh, yeah, the weapon has G-Laser to use against us. Hmm, maybe I should... I'm 
just trying to think of how to move my party members. Hmm, I gotta be a little careful here. Now, now, we'll do it the way I was planning on doing it. We'll just go horn there, and then we should... Oh, did someone need healing? Or did I already do that? No, Kid does need some healing, so why don't you do that, Elkoon? Yeah, unfortunately, Elkoon's... What is it? Movement range is still less than spectacular. But uh, once you got the weapon surrounded, then you're in pretty good shape. I got lucky that uh, Etoile didn't move in melee range. Okay, yeah, this is the attack that I'm worried about. And why I have a couple of those elixir balls. Ow! Hmm. How close are we? Getting there. <laughs> kind of. Well, let's see. Alcoon's not even going to be able to get into melee range anyway. So, how about we just... Yeah, get those two buffed up. Move around. And I'll have Elkoon use the elixir ball. Thank you for uh, blocking my attack there. That's well, thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's get... A little closer, but, uh, yeah, not a whole lot that I can do with this one. But that's alright. And then... Okay, yeah, let's get you going there. Probably should have moved Elkoon a little bit there, but... Eh, let's... Yeah, the... Weapon's basic physical attack is... Not that great. But I can buff everyone up. I just love the way your weapons just, well, do whatever they do. If I got Elkun up to level 32, I could have had him You, I think he learns Giga Lightning at that point. Uh, oh, I can't get behind him? I guess it's considered off the battlefield or something. But, uh, okay, we can do it this way too. Hey, hey, alright, got him. Oh, now I get the level ups. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, and... Really? Really, game? 